Welcome back. It is 2020, January at the end, and what a way to kick off a new Scotty Vlog series for the year. Uh, I'm off to Cape May to the Southern Mansion. I'm going to go see some uh, buddies, Dave and Steve. You might have heard of them. They were on a little TV show called, and now they're on a TV show called, so it should be a lot of fun. Let's see what kind of cool stuff we could uh, see. Uh, maybe we'll catch some evidence. I don't know. It's a big, cool event that they do every year. This is my second year back, uh, and it's really cool because they invited me, which is double cool. So I'm on my way down there now, and uh, what kind of road trip would it be if it wasn't pouring here in New Jersey? Uh, guess it could be worse. It could be snow, but um, it's not, so it's rain. Let's go make that trip from here all the way down the Garden State Parkway to finally made it and it's not raining. So I'm out here at the Southern Mansion in Cape May, New Jersey. It was a pretty easy ride, thank goodness. Um, sometimes the parkway can be a real mess when it's rainy, but it's Saturday. There weren't many people out, I guess, due to the rain. Once I got down here, the sun was out. It's clear. It's probably about 50 degrees. Still a little bit chilly, but definitely a good night to do some, uh, some ghost hunting. So I'm going to go inside, see everybody, and uh, we'll get the rest of this going. I'm on the second floor, and uh, you know, I was here two years ago, and I didn't really feel too much as far as the presence in the house, um, but today, on the second floor, in this particular room or hallway or whatever it's called, it definitely feels like there's something around. I'm going to break out my Vortex static detector and see if I can get any responses with it. Hold on. I really need a holiday for my And wait. Just keep that over there and see if anything happens. I want to talk about somebody named Rose. A uh, very strong feeling. Big name right in here, Rose. Uh, I don't know if that has any validity. Um, just a name that's really strong right now to me. So let's see. Is there anybody named Rose out here that would like to talk? Uh, if so, I have this uh, device over here. Uh, it's probably not like you've seen before. You can come near it and use some energy to light it up. That would be cool. Wow. 
they hate that. When I was here two years ago, I hit a card in this room. It's still here, I just checked. So my new cards look like this. Got that on there, right? And my... That's a cool thing. Oh, hi. I'm doing a little vlog. Hello. Hi. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Andrea Perrin. People know me from the movie The Conjuring. I wrote the books, the true story behind The Conjuring. And uh, I'm here with Bruce Tango and Dave and Steve and the crew, and it's wonderful. We're having a great time. <laughs> wish you could be here. I wish you could be here, too. Just impromptu celebrity meeting. Medium meeting. That's fun. So I hid this card under here two years ago. Look. Right here. Underneath the bar. And I'm going to leave it here. And this year, I'm going to put a date on it. So that next time... So that next time... It's proof that it's still the same one. So it's blank now. Blank. What's today? As we're filming this, it is... January 25th, 1, 25, 20. We're going to hide it, and next time I come back, we'll see if it's still here. And we're going to put it back. In the middle of the whole thing, they'll start turning to each other, talking about what they had for dinner. Take the quick kid. What's going on? Yeah. Say August, 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 say well, let's uh, let's start with Saint Augustine. The uh, they wanted for, and uh, uh, they went to hell. Okay, but now you're going to hear the true stuff. She's a wonderful speaker, a great friend, I love her, and your bro. I did not hear the loud voice in real time. Any idea what it says? That, I promise you, is truth, the truth of stranger than fiction, and 95% of the conjuring is fictionalized. And the reason that it is fictionalized is because I worked with the screenwriters, um, uh, twin brothers, kind of like Keith and Carl, uh, Kat, uh, Chad and Carrie Hayes. Gave them permission, I uh, coordinated with them, I consulted on the film, um, signed the agreement in 07 to make a film. It didn't come out until 2013. Uh, they sent the script back seven times, back and forth to the fear-based carbon unit uh, bosses at Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema who said, redact it, take it out. There's no point in making a film that's so frightening that people won't stay to watch it in the theater. So what you got instead was a storyline that was conjured in the mind of these screenwriters based on tidbits that they uh, extricated from the case files of Ed and Lorraine Warren.
that's light. Not that be light. It's actually not that dark over here, but um, you know the camera doesn't work that good in the dark, so it looks more more darker, more more dark, more dark than it is. All right, let's go back down the steps. I feel like Super Mario. Nobody saw that. I gotta go. Uh, downstairs are conducting an EVP session and I'm up here hanging out. I wanted to see if I could get anything to happen um, while I was up here. I was in the other room and my phone was charging and uh, I was hanging out just waiting for my phone to charge. I'm all alone up here. Uh, there's a gentleman walking around somewhere here turning lights off. Um, and I thought I heard light switches being flicked and I realized that it was actually really dark in here. Um, and I thought maybe he was turning these lights on that, off that were out here because in the room I'm in, I kept hearing it sounded like a light flick switch getting flicked. Anybody in here? I kept hearing it sounded like a light flick switch getting flicked so uh, I didn't think anything of it uh, then I decided to come in this room and investigate it and as soon as I made some noise in here and asked if there was anybody in here the clicking stopped um, I'm not really sure what it was all I know is that it stopped when I asked about it as expected we did some ghost hunting I walked around in the dark I didn't vlog much of it because the bright light on my camera would bother everybody and uh, you know, we're not trying to upset everybody else. This is a really cool uh, little thing that happened. EMF meters were going nuts. It was laying on a bed. No real reason for it. Couldn't debunk it. Is it paranormal? I'm not sure, but it was cool. Well, it's not the best way to end a vlog, but uh, I was so exhausted after ghost hunting all night, uh, I forgot to keep vlogging and I fell asleep, and that was that. Uh, I hope you liked the first vlog of 2020. Uh, I had a blast doing it. There are many more to come. I have a lot of opportunities presenting themselves for this year, uh, so we're going to keep the momentum going. If I'm going, you're going with me, even if you can't physically be there always be looking out for a video about what I was up to. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when I'm loading it up. Tell your friends. Come and watch. It's always a good time. I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you later.